What's up, MD? We're here in Chicago, Illinois, the Barbell Compound. We're going to take you guys through a back workout. Let's do it. All right, the first thing we did here, we did a hammer strength pull down. It was kind of a behind the neck pull down. I was uh, training my training partners. They came up here to the show this weekend, Alan Kress and Matt Jansen. And we just did two regular sets, working our way up to some heavy weight. Then on the last set, we you saw that we did a a drop set, but we also did like an ISO hold at the bottom where we're just, after we've burned out from the drop set, we're just putting a really good stretch into it. You know, we're actually forcing the stretch by adding more weight to it as well. It's a new gym, you know, I've never been in this gym before, so we're kind of scoping things out as we go. Usually I'll take five to ten minutes, you know, in my local gyms and pretty much sit in the car or sit up front and think about how I'm going to torture myself that day before I actually get started so I have my workout in my mind. But I work out with these two guys a lot in Lexington and we all pretty much, we just try to make things as difficult as we can so you'll see a lot of advanced techniques and stuff throughout this workout. Let's go. You know, moving from, uh, I kept the same philosophy, you know, when I was dieting, basically just did a little bit of the reverse dieting after the show into my rebound. And, you know, I kept my protein down this year. You know, it stays between 400 and 420. I think for my show prep, it got as high as 450, and I wouldn't let it go any further. But, you know, I've counted, um, I don't do a if it fits your macros. I don't really believe in that. But I do count my calories, and I count everything. So, you know, I, I count all the indirect protein that comes in. So this year, my digestion has been a lot better. You know, my waistline looks a lot better. And I've been able to push my carbs higher. So I've been staying fuller. You know, workouts have been a lot more energetic. I've been lasting longer. So overall, you know, I feel like I've, I've done pretty well with my rebound to stay in tight. You know, it's basically just by watching my food intake and, you know, keep keeping a close eye on things. You know, like I said, I count everything, every every gram of this, every gram of that. That way, it, if I know what's going in, I know what changes needs to be made. I'm not making any guesswork on it. All right, the next thing we went over to was uh, some pull-ups. I actually haven't done a weighted pull-up in a while, but, you know, I decided to try it. Uh, most gyms don't have chains in them, so they had the chain here, which changes the angle of it some, so I decided to try it. You know, I wasn't necessarily purposely doing a partial pull-up here. It, well, I was purposely doing a partial pull-up, but so I wasn't cheating on it. Um, I tried to stay at the bottom part of the movement because I noticed whenever I, my upper arms break parallel on it that I can feel my biceps taking over and, you know, I'm trying to train back and my body's been uh, arm dependent, obviously, so I want to take those out of it. You guys notice on these, uh, I'm not just doing a half a pull-up or anything, I'm purposely keeping the weight, keeping my body on the bottom half of it because whenever I get up to, you know, trying to do a full pull-up, being as I'm arm dominant anyways, you know, I engage more bicep to it, so by letting it hang out at the bottom, I'm stretching my lats out, engaging them much more. These little tiny handles on it too, man, so it'll be real easy on your grip. Can't even hardly get the strap around. Man, they all got big hands and all the shit. Come on. Oh, no, they're, they're, they're terrible. Um, earlier this year, back in April, I'm sure most of you guys know that I won the Orlando Pro. You know, immediately right afterwards, um, I moved back into the gym on Monday, you know. You know, I went with it for a few shoots and everything, but I stayed focused, stayed back on track, and I got immediately started a little mini off season, trying to grow as much as I could, um, keeping my diet relatively clean. I've actually only had two cheat meals since the day of the show, so I've kept everything really tight, and you know, I'm within striking distance of whatever I decide to do next. I know the Olympia is pushing really soon, and everybody's asking me if I'm doing it. I haven't quite made the final call on it yet. I think we are around 13, 14 weeks out, and I'm probably uh, need six to seven weeks to get ready for a show at this point. So I've got a little bit of time to think about it, but right now we're just trying to 
you know, kill every workout, make it as hard as possible, make sure that I fill out any areas that, you know, needs to. I've been trying to focus on bringing my hamstrings up. That seemed to be one of the things that, you know, I got the, the biggest critique on. So I've been hitting those twice a week. Um, still hitting upper body twice a week. It, it's been, it's paid off for me in the past. So I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing on that. And, you know, just overall bring a better package next year, bigger, harder, tighter. Stretch for what five to ten seconds. 10, 10. 10 seconds, yeah. So pull a plate and then pull the quarter, yeah, and then do two and do the same yeah. thing. You're gonna stretch before I pull it. Next thing we moved to was uh, a, a plate loaded T bar row. We did kind of the same thing with this as we did on the first exercise. We moved up to a heavy weight and then we did a drop set at the end once we got to you know maximum poundage. Basically pull the plate and then stretch for about 10 seconds, pull another plate and stretch for about 10 seconds and that was it. Five, come on. Four, three, two, one. Go, throw. Drive, come on. Get it up there. Oh, that's it. Let's stretch. 10. Pull against Five, me, come on. Four, three, two, one. Let's go, finish. Come on. Come on. Get it up there, come on. My hands are killing me. All right, this gym has, has a piece of equipment in it that I've never used before. It's a isolateral pullover machine, so I wanted to give it a shot. It worked really good. Made you concentrate and focus a lot more on the lats. You had to individually pull each side one at a time and we decided to superset that with a lat pull but instead of doing the standard grip you know we used more of a hammer strength style grip with the palms facing in I actually grabbed a hold of the machine to kind of give myself a little bit of wider wider grip on it I really felt this down in my lower lats because I was leaning forward on the machine You know, one of the things I did change this year is, you know, my metabolism right after the show, I was getting up to around six to 700 grams of carbs a day leading into the show with minimal cardio. So obviously, you know, to put weight on, you know, in my rebound, I, had, I pushed the carbs up. And once I got them between 800 to 1,000 a day, I started adding in healthy fats and everything. It kind of slowed the metabolism down a little bit, but it was also, you know, essentials that I needed to build more muscle. I mean, particularly, you know, I like doing a free range egg and the, the butters, the almond butters, the peanut butter, uh, like grass fed butter. And that, that's about it. I've, I haven't really done too much with the oils this year. It seemed to upset my stomach. Get some bars, get some bars out of the stretch. Just from there. Halfway, come on, come on. <laughs> you know, all the way down still. All right, uh, you know, that's pretty much wrapping things up on this workout, you know, I'm talking about my diet and everything, you know, just throw out some thank yous, you know, Gear Nutra for bringing me out here to Chicago, Illinois, uh, running the booth, and you thank MD, you know, I ran the play-by-play -play yesterday, you know, you guys got to see my two training partners here, this is Alan Kress, he runs Maximum Performance Training, Matt Jansen, he runs Innovate Elite Performance, you know, we train in LAC in Lexington, and these guys have been helping me, you know, try to take my body to the next level for my next show. That should do it.